Hey everyone, it's Zyger. This is just a warrior perspective, Fury Warrior for Argus, the Unmaker encounter in Antorus, the Burning Throne. This is the last raid boss in the zone. So this boss is a multi-phase encounter. The first phase, you go up and just melee the boss and avoid his special attack. Usually the raid leader will designate whether you're kind of strafing in a clockwise or counterclockwise fashion because the special attack kind of residue he leaves is permanent. So, so it looks like in this one we are moving counterclockwise. Again, while he's doing the special attack there. This tank really doesn't know what he's doing, unfortunately. Because we're going to get too many, maybe, but we're doing a lot of damage, so he'll probably transition. If you get this, just leave the group and. Come right back in. I thought that was actually the Dodd and it wasn't. But he's transitioning to phase two. In this phase, the tank usually positions him against the wall rather than in the middle. As you'll see here, hopefully. Definitely avoid that. If you have that on you, the best thing is to just stay where you are, but everyone else should avoid it. It crosses itself like it is right there, but you can pretty much easily avoid it. Sunburst, this is the dot. I'm going to have to get away in a few seconds here. So I'm going to get away now. This is going to basically explode. And then I'm going to charge right back in. Tanking could be better on this fight. Usually tanks will bring him against the wall. Okay, he's transitioning to stage 3 here. And we'll have to kill a bunch of adds, basically. Time answers to me, Unmaker! The one force that can bind your relentless fury! I, Gamma, will save us. So here's the ads. Usually, raid focuses on one at a time. You can interrupt them. I just interrupted him. I shouldn't have melee or aggro there, so I'm gonna jump out. Try to kinda clear it out. Interrupt as much as you can. Kill everything. Coordinate with the raid on which one should die first. Sometimes they're marked or you just go clockwise or counterclockwise like we are here.
All right, we're almost at the last phase here. So here we are, uh, phase four. It'll act like we're all gonna die, but then we just all get revived. And when you get revived, you'll run to a tree to kind of respawn. Then you'll DPS him again. At that point, um, you'll have to kill a bunch of orbs, and usually the range take care of those. Melee should take care of those if they're close. But if your rate is good enough, the range can pretty much take care of those. You can continually revive during the fight too. The battle is more um, incumbent upon a timer than it is actually dying. See, you go to the tree, now we're back. So, start DPSing again here now. And really, he needs to be tagged against the wall. This is not really the greatest strategy, but might have to suffice for this video. There we go. He's being brought over. Use your rally and cry when the raid needs it. I just used mine to help out. Otherwise, just avoid the stuff on the ground. Kill orbs if they're close. And DPS the boss. When he gets below 20, you can do some serious damage with Execute. Always fun, right? And here we are. It's a cute time. Ooh, I got sunburst. That's basically the bomb. So I'm gonna have to get out of range when it comes time, but I'm going to do some damage first and then just the heroic leap out. Alright, here's my heroic leap out. Come back, do more damage. Doing some really, really good damage now. And there it is. You get to see a cinematic afterward. Well